Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today in Paint.net, I'm going to be showing you an application of the previous tutorial uh, that was about soft masking, and in this one I'm going to show you how you can very easily clone some objects. Um, the reason I'm using a uh, hand sanitizer bottle is because I got the idea at work and I was like, nothing to do, might as well do this after somebody said something. But in this case, the only way this will kind of cloning will work is if you have the same camera stance, it's like the same angle, basically the camera doesn't move and the only thing that moves is the objects. So what I did is I just took a few, I just used a uh, camcorder and I just uh, took some frames out of the camcorder. And I'm going to be showing you a few examples on how it can work and how you can get kind of a uh, distorted image if it's not um, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my other two um, images into paint.net here and I don't know why that loading bar is like that but we can see we have let's go ahead and deselect cool so we have our background have uh, the one standing up and then we have one that's kind of laying to the side and in this um, tutorial you'll see that the one laying on its side will actually be the one with issues so, uh, very easy, what we're going to do is we're going to lasso around our um, our third layer. Actually, we're on our background layer. I'm sorry about that. So, if we click on our image 2, which is my foremost layer, if we go ahead and um, lasso around what you want to copy over, and if you give yourself a little bit of room so you can uh, blur some things out or erase things if necessary. So, I selected it. I'm going to go ahead and go to edit, invert the selection, delete. Already you'll see that, um, like I said in my previous tutorial, it said all it does is it deletes the background. So all we have, if we looked at this image, is just the um, bottle that we have. So if we go to our second layer, which is the not the background, but the one before that, we can select this next bottle here. Okay. And if we do the same thing, we go to edit, invert selection, delete it. Now we can see all three bottles are in our um, background, which is our original file. And you'll you already be able to see over here in the um, Purell, this bottle over here that's on its side. You can see there's some lighting distortion, so you can definitely tell it was just like pasted on there. But some some things that you can do is if you go to like uh, click on the layer that you want to erase, you can use your eraser tool to erase some things like this. That uh, that clears up a lot of um, messiness that you might have. Another thing that you might want to try is taking the lasso tool again and adding some blurs. So if you just select an area and you go to man, there are just too many. Oh, those are adjustments. Too many effects. All right. So if we go to blurs, let's add, uh, soften no, let's add an alpha blur. And if we choose the amount that looks right, so 10 is for me, of course it's going to be different for you. Um, and if we go ahead and select our lasso tool again and get rid of that, you can, you can see that we get a, it's kind of better, it looks a little bit better. Um, a few things that you can do to fix this lighting discoloration over here is if you wanted to use like a clone, if you wanted to use clone stamp and select this and then, you know, make it the same rough around the edges and then um, apply a blur. So uh, let's go ahead and fix this up a little bit more. You can kind of see the lines here. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but what I want to go ahead and do is select this area. Repeat the blur, and another thing when you when you do the blur and you have these like little white spots, you it's very simple to just go over it and um, delete the excess. So let's try it on the one that isn't so so good. Uh, a little bit. Let's just play with it. Um, see blur alpha blur see what we got 
Yeah, it's looking like the lighting discoloration is just a little too much for the um, blur to handle. So the, the really only way to fix something like that would be to go ahead and select your uh, clone stamp and maybe get some or burn the edges a little bit to make it blend in a little bit more. But I hope you get the point. Very simple thing to do. And um, the second bottle looks great. It really does look like it's just another bottle sitting there. So, yeah, guys, that's it. I hope this tutorial helped. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies.